Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Rescue HQ. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with a brand new map here in Rescue HQ. Welcome to San Francisco. So, you guys were really wanting to see a brand new map. You wanted to see me start from scratch, taking some of the stuff that I learned from the last playthrough into this one. And overall, I think you guys were wanting a change of scenery here. And boy, do you have it, because this map looks a lot different than I thought it was going to look. Like, I thought it was going to be really wide open, but it's actually segmented off into four little sections here. Uh, two which you have to buy, so you've got one for 92000 and you've got one for about seventy, or actually it's 67000 there. So, we're going to start off here. Now, this is going to be a little bit different, because they actually have a starting off with uh, the police. Apparently, there's some crime in San Francisco, and we need a new HQ to help take it out. So, this won't be like the same playthrough. There are going to be new special events. I don't know if there's going to be new items. We'll have to see, but... Overall, I'm just happy to have a clean slate here because the other station was getting, admittedly, a little bit messy. So let's go ahead and start here uh, with the corridor. Uh, let's go ahead and actually start it back here because I'm pretty sure that's what this little section here is meant for. So we're going to drag this through here. And I know everybody wants me to probably center it. I know my OCD is saying, hey, center it with this uh, crosswalk here. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to actually put the entrance here. That way we can have plenty of room and figure out how we need to work the garages because that was a problem last time. I actually ran out of garage space really quick and it wasn't pleasant. So there's your entrance to the HQ. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. So we need to build an office, a garage, and a utility room. So we know the utility room is obviously really important. Uh, garage is going to probably fill up this whole outer ring. So let's go ahead. We're going to do a decent sized garage to begin with. And like I said, we're starting off with the police here. I think the garage needs to be about like that. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and give a little entrance to the garage here. There we go. And we're going to work some cop cars here. Let's go ahead and go with two of those right now to begin with. And then we have plenty of room for more here. And we can curve it this way if we need to. So another really important thing, and I actually kind of ignored this last episode, is the office. Because there is a lot of paperwork that comes with police work. So I think... Hmm, what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to extend this corridor th this way. I don't know how far, maybe only about like that, but this will give me uh, room for an office here. So we're going to make it fairly big. So we'll go maybe about like, let's go like maybe that there. We'll start here. Let's go ahead, put in another door and let's go ahead and put in a hiring desk here. Go ahead and set them up against the wall in the corner. There we go. All right, so we'll get our paperwork here in a second, but I do need to build a utility room real quick, which these are the most important rooms to me because this houses all of your equipment and lockers. So we need to go ahead and make this big. So we're going to go something like that. There we go. Ah, yes, paperwork. Time to put in some filing cabinets and desk. All right, so we got a police desk here, which we only need one of these, I believe. We're going to stick it in the opposite corner. And then we need to have places for paperwork. So let's go ahead and stick actually two of these in. Because that paperwork is going to pile up really fast. Okay, so I think I can actually resume the game now. So we should be getting some new hires here really quick. Uh, as soon as we get somebody on this hiring desk. Which I don't know how this is going to work. Do we have anybody employed right now? Like, how does this, uh, how do we do this? Um, let me see if I've already got applicants. Huh, we have zero right now. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll get one after I build uh, the file storage here. Let's go ahead and build that. There we go. Stick that in. Uh, maybe we'll get one then. There we go. Alright. So, they, uh, they want cruisers, desks, lockers, and weapons. Okay, we can, uh, get to work there. So she's gonna go work it in and trying to, uh, hire some people... He's going to start filing paperwork. we got two cruisers coming in, which uh, we needed those. And Oh, look, our first special event already. There's a new gang that's settled in the city. Expect an increase in crime. All right, we can handle this. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and work in the utility room real quick and get these uh, new hires settled in. So utility room, let's offset this door by one. So we'll start it there. And uh, what I'd like to do, actually, we're going to build a wall in here. I kind of learned this. This isn't really a, it's not a trick or anything, but it's something that's pretty essential. 
in order to stack up and save some room. So I think if we go about like this, and we'll probably leave this other area blank. We need to put the uh, the lockers up against these. There we go. So we can go there. Okay, it's gonna be nine. It wants ten of these bad boys. Uh, we're gonna put one more right here. All right, so I'm gonna try to keep this uh, station as organized as possible because that's something that I got a lot of complaints on on the last episode or the last little playthrough here. All right, let's go and get the armory. Oh, we've already got squat gear. Wow, that was quick. Okay, so this is definitely moving faster. Uh, let's just go ahead and stick it right here and we'll start to stack up against that wall and build any other small walls that we need. So look at that. The police armory is here. We are ready to fight the gangs. So yes, doing pretty good here. All right, so the precinct is actually needing a common area. I'm thinking to maybe put that over on the other side and save this side for holding cells and expanded utility room. So I think we're actually gonna do all the the nitty gritty stuff for the uh, the employees down over on this side. So I'm gonna extend, expand the corridor actually over here, uh, which I just now realized these two lots don't connect. So we're actually gonna have a separate fire station and we're gonna have a separate hospital area, which I actually kind of like that. Uh, instead of it cluttering it all into one, I think this is gonna really be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get a bathroom ready to go here, make it fairly big. That's probably good. Uh, we'll need, oh, we got our first call, huh? What's the first call in San Francisco? It is streakers. <laughs> that is a new one. Okay, so we have, during the local race, some streakers have been reported running alongside the pack. Uh, they run pretty good, too, and they're pretty hard to grasp being naked and all. So organizers have asked for your help. <laughs> okay, so we got nudie people. Let's go ahead and send some cops here. Uh, we'll send them in one cruiser. All right, so... Who would have thought the first call we get in San Francisco, we got nudies, uh, nudies running up and down the, uh, parade, or, I guess, no, it was a marathon or something, I don't I even really pay attention to that, but, yeah, that's, uh, it's not good there. Alright, let's go ahead and get the bedroom, we've already got another call, okay, they're really laying it on us pretty early here, let's, uh, we're gonna hold off on that call for a second, we're gonna get these built real quick, let's go ahead and put a wall here, and a wall here. Uh, I know that bathroom's a little offset, but I don't need to make it that big. So let's go and unlock all the goodies here. And I need to actually build a kitchen, too. We'll probably continue this corridor. Uh, let's put it like this. I'm going to wait for that unit to get back before I dispatch to the next call. Uh, that way I make sure I have people actually at the station at all times before we get our new hires in, uh, which we'll do that here in just a second. Uh, let's go ahead and actually get a kitchen built here. Kitchens actually don't need to be that big, so we'll go about, like, maybe that. There we go. It's looking pretty toasty. All right, we got a couple new employees that we can hire. We're going to hire one to the day, one to the night. Uh, let's go ahead and work this next call. We have an illegal hemp shop. Oops. A uh, hemp paraphernalia shop has been reported selling the actual product without a license. So we're doing basically, I guess you can call it a drug bust. So let's go ahead and send out a couple here. Uh, we're gonna make them bring a rookie along too. That way we can uh, we can start to train people. So let's go ahead and send them out there. All right. So let me go ahead and fill up all of this stuff. So we need to unlock the fridge. Uh, we'll stick this bad boy over in the corner. Oh, actually, it's uh, this room here. There we go. Let's go ahead and go to the bedroom. Unlock that. And there we go. And we'll stick a couple beds in there. Uh, let's go. I hate these beds. I hate the fact that they can't actually jump in on both sides. I'll go with three beds there. There we go. So apparently some new low lives have been hanging around the city. And it's only a matter of time until events start to unfold. What does that mean? I'm not really sure. You know what? For good measure, we've got the money now. Let's go ahead. Because I don't have a good feeling about this. I have a feeling they're going to try to overwhelm us early. Let's get one more uh, cruiser in here. And of course, we have the two new hires. Uh, just in case they want to lay it on us thick here to begin with, because this is no longer like the tutorial anymore. Uh, it's not going to do as much holding your hand. So before it throws us into the fire, let's go ahead and become at least a little bit prepared here. Just going to get a couple toilets and a couple uh, showers in too. All right, so the next area we need is actually a training area, which I think I'm going to throw it on this side because I am saving this side for utilities and the holding cell once we eventually uh once we eventually unlock it so let's go ahead and go with the training grounds which we ignored our training grounds last time which i feel kind of bad about that but 
Uh, I think we'll take care of it this episode. Let's leave room just in case we need to add a garage over here. So we'll go at training grounds about like that. Maybe make that a little smaller. Uh, we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and put that there. And let's get a couple door kicker units uh, for our rookies. There we go. Uh, it should be good. All right, so we have a new call here. We have a video store break-in. Someone broke into a renowned video store and made away with some masterpiece 90s TV shows. Do they still have blockbusters anywhere? Maybe that's what they just broke into. All right, yeah, we're going to send a rookie over there. You can go to the blockbuster here. There we go. And apparently we have a level three veteran officer, which I didn't know we were already going to get one of those. All right, we'll send them out to keep them busy here. I like the whole fact that it sounds different here. Do we got American Sirens over here too since it's uh, in San Francisco? Last time we were in Berlin, waiting for it. I can hear sirens in the background somewhere, but I think that's ambient noise. I want to hear the sirens on this. Yep, we actually have American sounding sirens. I like that. Now, there's another thing that's really neat about this game is the whole fact that there is going to be mods. So maybe we can eventually get to like real police departments and stuff like that. Like, it would be kind of cool to be, or at least have new maps, maybe, like NYPD, so you have, like, New York, or something like that. That would be really, really neat. So, hopefully, the uh, modding community will be active on this game, because I think that would be uh, something to behold. All right, so we have another mission here. We have the stakeout mission. We're informed of an ambush is uh, set up in retaliation for some high-profile arrests that have been made. Our precinct has been tasked with gathering as much information as possible before the event occurs. We are going to set up a stakeout uh, with one of our teams. You know, it would be kind of cool to get detectives eventually in this game, like some sort of a uh, detective agency. I know there's a little bit of that, but that would be uh, pretty cool to see. Uh, let's go ahead and send out some dudes here. That should be good. All right, send them out on a call. Man, I'm feeling like we need to go ahead and get another squad car. We need to get some more hires, but yeah, we never have anybody at the station here. Actually add it one more hiring desk. That way we can hopefully get some more hires really soon because uh, this little gang event is really starting to scare me. I actually think we're going to go ahead and add one more squad car too. I uh, can never have too many of these bad boys lined up. And look at that. Can I fit? Oh, I can't fit one more in the corner. Oh, that's going to bug me. Oh, my OCD is going to kick in. Holy man. Uh, I really wish we had one more square. <laughs> okay, we'll have to ignore that for now. All right, so we're ready to try to go ahead and get our next little item here. So we're going to get a weight bench over here. So we're going to stick the weight bench over... I guess we'll try to stick it close to this stuff here. So there we go. That's in the training room. So they're going to build that. Next thing I need to do is get 200 reputation points, and we should level up here. So my ultimate goal is if you look up in the top left where it says overall rating, I want to keep that above 90%. Uh, I dipped down on my other map about in the 80s, and to me that was getting a little low, so that's my goal with San Francisco here. Uh, try to keep it as safe as possible, and oh my, look at the police calls rolling in. Really? Okay, this is getting a little sketchy here. Alright, so we have more streakers, because apparently everybody likes to run around naked at, uh, in San Francisco. We're going to send one cop on here. I know it's only 80%, but it is uh, a level 2 seasoned veteran here, so let's go ahead and send him out. And uh, hopefully they can take care of that. We'll wait on these other two calls for our other units to get back. Uh, we're going to have to hire as many cops as soon as possible because I want to get those response times really low. All right, so we have our first serious call here in San Francisco. It's a store robbery. It says a store is being robbed. Bystanders have called the emergency number. And the perpetrators are still inside. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and send two officers here. Police cruiser. And we have the SWAT gear already uh, in the uh, utility room, so we're ready to go here. Okay, I'm going to send them out there. Another successful emergency. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. So it's holding cell time, so let's go ahead and shut the guy up. I already know what I'm doing. Uh, well, at least somewhat. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a holding cell here. You know, the holding cell only has the little uh, suspect processing bench. I don't think we ever unlocked anything else for it, which was kind of strange. Uh, we are going to stick it right about, let's put it to about maybe here for now. And we'll stick a little gel door if I can. Let's go and unlock it. Uh, it's going to sit here. And somebody left their car door open. There it goes. I was waiting for them to turn off the little, nope, I still hear it. Okay, somebody's either getting ready to go on an emergency or something's happening there. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, little suspect bench here. Apparently, we're going to be really busy in San Francisco, so let's go ahead and get two of these bad boys ready to go. There we go. All right, and next shift is on. All right, so we have our holding cell in place. We can make that bigger if we need to. 
All right, so look at that. They already want me to expand into a medical division and a fire department division. Well, bad news is, like, I would like the other land unlocked before I did that. Am I going to start receiving calls about these? That could be a little bit of an issue. Hmm, let me think of how to take this on. Uh, we might be making a combined office, which that's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I'll take this back area somewhere, or... Uh, heck, we might do it on the other side. I'd like to actually make a one division or maybe one unified uh, office here for all the, uh, all the police, EMS, and fire, but I don't know about that yet. All right, let's go ahead and buy this adjacent lot for uh, 67000 Let's go, boom. Okay, so we've got it. Let's go ahead and expand this corridor out this way, and then... Do we really want to expand it across? I don't think I'm going to. We'll have a separate outside entrance uh, over here. So we'll stick it in the corner like we did with the other one. So we'll go boom. There's our outside entrance. Hmm. Do we want to do fire or medical first? I think medical requires a little less area because the fire garage needs to be huge. So we'll do medical on this side and fire over here. So fire it is. Let's go ahead Get that garage ready to go here. Man, I hope we're not going too fast here. I really, really hope. Build error. Need entrance between all... Wait, I have to have a corridor that leads to both... Like, with that? Really? That's strange. So we still had to build the corridor. We still had to connect it, ultimately. Okay, well, that's questionable. I, I don't understand why they give us a, a separate, like, area and then tell us, like, Oh, you still need to have these, uh, these connected here. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, well, let's go ahead and keep uh, taking calls here, and let's build up our fire area. Okay, so what I think we're going to do here, since the fire's got a bigger area, we are going to build an extra big office. And this is strictly uh, to try to keep the maybe the EMS and fire together. So we'll go boom like that, and then maybe they'll get a unified utility room. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock the fire uh, hiring station here. Stick it on this side of the room. Let's go ahead and get a door right in the middle here. Okay. So we'll start with that, and then we'll expand more here. So let's go ahead and also go to the garage and unlock the fire truck. Uh, let's go ahead and get us... Wait, what is that? Oh, this is a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, hold on. Let's expand their garage a little bit, apparently. All right, here we go. Put that there and get them a little door at least to the outside here. All right, so we got that started. Apparently, we're already at a paperwork area. Are you serious? How in the heck have we already run out of that? That doesn't really make much sense to me. We just started it. I mean, we've been busy, but not that busy. You know what? Now that I think about it, we're probably going to go ahead and make a, a unified fire and police utility room for now. So I'm going to go ahead and use this unused area here. And let's go ahead, we're going to add one more door over probably on this side here. That way we can save some space on, over here because I really don't feel right building another utility room yet. Uh, we can always change that around, but for the beginning here, we're going to do that. Let's go and expand this wall out this way. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and build some more lockers here for our new fire hires. Now that kind of rhymed. All right, so another thing we're going to go ahead and add, we have the crowd control unlocked already. So this is uh, for the police. So we're going to add that, and then we've got a air refill station for the uh, fire department. Let's go ahead and place it a little further down, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to expand those lockers out. So we'll give them that, and then a little... Uh, uh, let's give them two tank storages over on this side. There we go. That is looking pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can hire some firefighters now. All right, so look at this. We have our first fire call. It's a commercial building fire. Local business is reporting smoke coming out, so pretty basic call. Uh, we need to send two fire... Is that it? Two firefighters? Oh, we have a, another veteran uh, firefighter. Okay, so two of those. We need four tanks, which we've already got some of the air tanks ready to go, apparently. And one truck. Okay, let's go ahead and dispatch there. I noticed they gave us a different truck to start with for the firefighters. It's actually got a ladder. Uh, it's not the basic truck that you got in the last map, and it looks a bit different even in the front. I don't wonder if it's actually got a little more of an American-style pose to the other one. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe I'm just overlooking that right now. 
Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we're going to go and deploy those, and we'll take our first fire call here. I feel like things are going a little too smooth. I don't feel panicked like I did last playthrough, which is a bit scary. All right, that's starting to bug me. Let's go ahead and fill in this one last garage space here. So we've got room for one more car in this area. Then we'll move the uh, police garage over to this side. And we'll start deploying them off this side of the station, or the HQ, I should say. Oh, look at this. We can unlock the police van. This thing's pretty vital. All right, so let's go ahead, and I think we're going to unlock that truck real quick. That police van is pretty vital, so let's go and unlock it. And do we have another uh, fire truck available? Hold on, I think we do. Uh, we're going to stuff this off over in the corner here. Something doesn't feel right about this garage, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. It's fine. Uh, we got some uh, police calls. I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick. What is a fire truck? So we have a standard fire engine. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab one of those bad boys, too. There we go. Alright, so we'll work on medical here in just a second. That's the last thing we need to unlock. I'm not going to unlock the locker yet. Uh, that way I don't get medical calls because, yeah, I can't handle those at the moment. But look at this. We have a working police and fire station so far. And it feels more organized. So, pretty happy with this so far. Let me know what you guys think if you have any suggestions uh, before we get too far into the actual station build itself. Alright, so we have another event coming up. We probably won't get around to it this episode, but apparently there's a gang safe house. So it says a wiretap revealed a safe house that is connected to money laundering used by our favorite syndicate. Prepare a breach in operation by the end of the week. Okay, we can handle that. Alright, I'm trying to see what we're going to be building next here. I really should move on to medical, but I think I'm going to continue to hold it. Because I would like to have this area over here because I don't want to start to mix it in. Uh, I mean, I really could maybe temporarily mix it in over here, but it would be ideal if I can uh, keep that over in that next area. Alright, so our small time gangsters event is almost over here, so we're going to try to wrap that up this episode. Uh, we're still getting some pretty... Wait, this is a new call. We have a case of turning wheels of power. A high clearance employee of an unnamed tech company lost his prototype smart device. Seems they forgot the location tracking on this one. Or did he turn it off because he knows what happens with that data? Our police can stage an investigation and in turn make a handy sum of money. Okay, so apparently somebody from like Apple lost their, uh, their prototype phone. Let's go ahead and send a couple cops. It seems to be kind of weird cop work. Okay, we'll go with that. All right, so we are ready to research some new things here. Look at all the stuff that's already ready to go here. It took us episodes to get this stuff ready to be researched. So let's go ahead and research. I can do one of these. I think we need to focus on foam extinguishers because I've seen those on quite a few calls. So let's go ahead and get those unlocked real quick. And let's give them a station. Uh, we'll stick it over here, kind of off in this corner. Wait, do we need to have a storage station for this? Air tank storage? Is there a foam tank storage? I guess maybe there isn't. I always thought there was, but no, I guess they're okay. Alright, so we got that built. That should help our fire force. We'll continue to work on our police force here. This utility room is going to fill up so quick. Oh boy. Yeah, we're going to need a second one here really, really soon. Yeah, we'll hold off on it for a little bit. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do, I need to measure this garage out. So let's go ahead and measure this and make sure we have room for cruisers. All of this is going to be one gigantic garage. And then I think we're going to lead the corridor maybe like this. And then we're going to add a door out to here. So that should be good. Hold on, is this big enough to house a car? Uh, I really hope it is. Oh yeah, no, it's plenty good. Okay, so that is good to go there. All right, so you can see where we're going to stick the future garage. We need something. Maybe we'll just continue to stick the same old, same old back here as far as expanding the kitchen and maybe some other things. But yeah, look at the start that we have going here. Uh, pretty happy so far. All right, so the uh, small time gangsters event has passed by. So now we have the gang safe house event, which is coming up soon. I think we'll do that next episode along with building uh, the medical center. So I think I'm going to actually play a little bit in between the uh, episodes here. I just wanted to show you guys the introduction to a new map and maybe get your feedback on this. So I'll pay attention to what you guys say down in the comment section. We'll go ahead and add the medical on the next playthrough here. And then we'll go ahead and, can try, and, then we'll go ahead and try to do some more special events. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Rescue HQ series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see 
see you guys next time. Thank you.